very rainy Tunisia this morning and it's beautiful. It's just absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna... I always look like I'm on holiday, don't I? With the wet curly hair and a little bit of a, a glow. I don't know if this is gonna make the cut on the video. But all I'm trying to do is just do my best to... All right, it's that time of the evening again. Just taking my selfie in there to show off my new shoes. Did you see these in the pack with me? My new shoes, my new L Sport ones. Genuine or fake? I thought they looked quite nice with my flares. What do you reckon? I'm going to go for dinner. I'm quite late for dinner. Um, I did promise the guy at the bar, I brought up a pineapple and lemonade earlier. I did promise him I'd bring this cup back and he went, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to take your cup back. I've also got a wedding ring on right now. For reasons I won't go into. Actually, I will go into it because that sounded a little bit dodge. Um, I feel perfectly safe here, but somebody asked me earlier when I was in a taxi, do I have a husband? And I blatantly lied and said yes. And he's like, where is he? And I went, oh, he's back at the hotel. Absolute lie. I never lie. And much as it made me feel a bit, ee, I thought, well, you got your answer there now because he told me you're beautiful. Mwah. I was like, that's a very nice compliment. Thank you. But... Let's not have that conversation. So yeah, wedding ring is on. I do often do that actually. And there's no harm in that, is there? No harm in it, that's a white lie, isn't it? So anyway, yeah, I need to go um, and, get, and see what's for dinner. <laughs> certainly a fun evening that was watching the dancing and stuff and uh, I know some of you sometimes come here and comment about being on my own and doing stuff like this and it, it does take a little bit of bravery I guess but not you know if you come somewhere like this there's always like the animation team and that really friendly and they get you up to have a dance and and whatever um I mean I did say no today because it looked a bit chaotic on that floor um, and I didn't want to hurt myself. <laughs> but um, this particular hotel, there's groups of people making friends left, right and centre, which is really, really cute to see. They're all sitting there having a bit of a giggle. But, um, I seem to have encountered quite a lot of trolls the last few days um, online, and I don't really know <laughs> what I'm thinking about that. But it's getting on my nerves a little bit. So I'm going to turn in for the night, and I'm also very tired. <laughs> Um, tomorrow's another day. I'm going to get some editing and things done and hopefully get a bit caught up with some of my reading and writing that I need to do while I'm here. Or that I want to do. I shouldn't say I need to do what I want to do. So I will bid you good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. How are you? It is the next day, as you can tell, probably by my sleepy looking eyes. Um, I've had another solid sleep. Really nice sleep. Um, wasn't for very long though because I woke up with some tummy pains, which is just part of me having Crohn's I guess so um, I'm in the mood to get out early this morning and go and have a nice early breakfast and the weather is a little cloudy but I'm here for it you know I'm up for a little bit of reading this morning and maybe a bit of editing but yeah look the weather is supposed to brighten up a little bit later but it's even though it's fresh this morning it feels that nice or good morning in a hotel kind of vibe and also they was doing the whole washing down thing out there. And I love that when you hear all that. See, so yeah, I'm going to go for some breakfast. I'm going to hopefully, oops, hopefully read some more of my book. Really enjoying this. Really, really enjoying this. Um, yeah, if you if you like a, a sort of memoir, a true story, definitely go for that. I'm also going to take my journal. I'm going to pick, pack up my little tote bag uh, with my book, my sun cream, my towel, and uh, and go for breakfast. This is my little lonely sunbed in. I've got my, <laughs> my table, it's a bit wobbly, but it doesn't matter. I'm on the grass, so I can do some grounding rather than on the concrete. But I might go for a little walk down the beach because uh, just to warm myself up a little and get some movement in the body. Do you hear that cock a doo doo Great, isn't it? It's a bit chilly this morning, so I'm walking pretty fast. Get those steps in, hear the flip flops going. Listen to the cock again. No, he's been doing that for hours. Um, but anyway, I just thought I'd bring myself down to the beach. This is the little walk. This is the little walk down to the beach. Um, I saw someone online say, oh, good luck with that. That walking down here. But I'm like, I don't know. I've, I don't really get what that negativity is. But it's quite a nice little walk. It's going to be a bit windy down here. So I don't think I'll be long. Just 
going to get my feet a little bit sandy and then go back and read some of my book. These places are quite cute, aren't they? That looks like, yeah, nice. Yes, that was quite ambitious. It's pretty cold, but it's still lovely, though, look. So today's changeover day in the hotel. And I would say, because there's so many rooms and they've got to clean stuff, if you like, look. If you really don't need new towels or your bed made, just put that on the door, give them a bit of a break. So um, there's a lot of people that have gone home and I really hope the vibe stays because have so many people made friends in this hotel. I've not seen that in a very long time. Probably the last time was Montenegro. So I can't get my jumper. It's really cold outside. Um, yeah, Montenegro was the last time and um, I think I saw that and we all made so many friends, it was incredible. It, I was quite surprised, like I wrote a whole story about that. And I was also surprised that not many people came to YouTube to watch my videos. If you haven't seen them, go and have a look. It was such, oh, we had so much fun. It was such a laugh. Um, if I can find a bit, I'll put it in here. But yeah, I've written a whole story about that called, well, it's probably gonna be called Moments in Montenegro. And it's just, I call it Murder in Montenegro, but there was no murder. It was just, yeah somebody went missing and it was a whole big thing but it, it turned out fine of course as they always do with these stories I almost look like i'm on holiday don't i with the wet curly hair and a little bit of a, a glow and there's going to be a full moon let me see if i can show you there's definitely going to be a full moon while i'm here it's gone behind the tree now hang on yeah um what a nice day and i feel like i'm looking like myself right now my hair's a little bit blonder and a bit curlier and it's been a bit of an epiphany can't lie it's been a bit of an epiphany um i feel very very different i don't really know what to tell you right i'm gonna have to go but i'm gonna try and tell you about this epiphany while i put on my lipstick i've just taken my evening selfie which feels a bit like the weird thing to do ever because that's not really what i've been doing in quite a long time um i've got curly hair going on today um, because I didn't bring any hairstyling tools with me other than a brush. But yeah, so I've written this piece today that was really nice. Um, I felt it was really nice. And I sent it over to my friend and I said, give me feedback. And I really respect her. Oh, see, look, why can't I get a picture that looks like that? But I really respect her opinion. And she's come back and she was like, oh, wow, that was absolutely wonderful. That was an amazing piece to read. And I was like, well, thank you very much. So we should be doing more of that for sure. Um, but anyway, this evening I am now off to the a la carte restaurant, which I'm very excited about. Um, date with myself. I've got my glasses. I've got my Deepak Chopra book. book. Um, I need to get... What else do I need to take? I need to sort myself out because I've got a bee there. Hey, wow, look at this moon. Pretty, huh? down and watch the entertainment i'm not too sure what to do about my hair but i might you know i normally tie a little bit up i might not do that i might leave that like that um i won't be wearing glasses down there obviously got that on because of the screen so um yeah look at me i'm feeling really glowy and really happy and really cozy i am very tired i could quite happily go to bed now but i'm not going to Listen, how lovely are those birds. Good morning. Look, it's another really, really lovely day out here. I'm gonna be quiet because we had a lot of new people come yesterday. What a gorgeous morning! Yeah, so I got up. Uh, I woke up really early, as you can probably tell. My eyes are always puffy in these videos in the mornings, um, and I thought to myself, 
It's really hot in here. Let's open the window, which uh, which I did, the door. And all the birds are singing and it's so lovely. Now, a little tip for you. Go for breakfast early. You don't have that big queue for the omelet station. And also this morning, about around about 10 or 11 o'clock, it's going to start to get cloudy. It's going to be cloudy for the rest of the day. I don't know if that means it's going to be cold or not, but I'm going to pop on a, a top and I'm going to go walking down on the beach because that's how I feel like I want to roll today. I'm trying desperately to get a video up. This one that's called, what's it called? seven days all inclusive packed with me for tunisia with 15 kilograms hold luggage but it's taking quite a little while to get that up because of the internet i think so what i might do is try and put that in my safe and just prop it open but i don't know if the metal around the safe is going to stop it from uploading but that's happened before um well and i did manage to get it up uploaded in the safe so as you see we're rocking the curly hair now i guess i didn't bring any hair tools with me just of of the to do my fringe so this is all just washed and left and I put a little bit of product on it actually I put some conditioner on it so yeah cute isn't it I do quite like that and I do feel like me I want to talk to you a little bit about that today because today I've got a full moon now I'm not pretending to be an astrology expert by any stretch of the imagination but um it does bring up a lot of things for a lot of people doesn't it and I heard even someone that doesn't believe in this she's a school teacher and she teaches um like younger children and she said when there's a full moon they all go crazy so there's a full moon today and it's going to be a powerful one apparently and we're embracing the person within and loads has come up for me on this trip and I was umming and ahhing do I talk about that it's quite personal or not but I think sometimes you might know like looking after um you know family and especially somebody like mum that's poorly um with dementia it takes its toll and it's difficult to get out of out of your head with that and sometimes you need to get quiet to be able to pull up some stuff that you let it flow and I feel like I've let stuff flow and I feel like I know where I'm going I know what I want to do in life and I've been saying I've been beating that same drum for I don't know how long and I just need to actually put the steps in motion to do it now when I go to the self-publishing show which is this where am I get got my little tote bag from and um, I met a guy there um, last year and the year before and I'll probably meet him again this year and his name's Mark and he's a really successful author. He writes similar things to what I would write. And um, and he's got a step-by-step -step thing on how exactly he does it. So I've been reading that. We do so much reading on this trip. And um, yeah, it's been really good. And I think once I'd visited the Sheriff's Aid, although I am going to go back and see my friend Aga tomorrow. I don't know if we're filming or not, but probably be good for her to say hello on the, on the camera. We're going to go for an ice cream. Um, so that's nice. So stick around to make sure you see that. And um once I've sort of done that bit, I've got filming here to do, which I may do probably 